Hello and welcome to The Sherlock Show. I'm Georgie Courage Cole and I'm back with another action-packed show for you. On the fashion front this week, Charlotte and Polly went to one of their all-time favourite high street destinations for some of the very best jeans to buy this season. Friend of the show, Lisa Potter-Dixon, has picked her Charlotte Tilbury must-haves and is showing us how to get the most out of them. Content creator and fashionista Jessica Skye is here to show us her week in outfits. She's got all the tips you need to smoothly start the transition into spring. We have the next in our instalment of our 10-minute bar workout with the Una series founder Katie Miller. Summer Pine of House Curious is back with another delicious recipe. This week it's salt and pepper cauliflower, which is right up my street. But first, let's start with some fashion and some high street fashion that really is too good to miss. We make no secret of the fact that River Island is one of our favourite places for denim on the high street. They do everything from the perfect skinny to the perfect mum jean. And we're here today to prove it to you. So I've got my very glamorous assistant, Polly, <laughs> all armed to try on some of our favourite pieces from their latest collection. And they really do have some great jeans, don't they? Yeah, I'm actually super excited to try all of these on. We've got some skinnies, some straights, some moms, really like a bit of everything and so many great washes, aren't there? So. Agreed. To start us off, you are wearing the Molly Mid-Rise Skinny. Yeah. Talk us through these. They look like a great pair of skinnies. Yeah, they are. They're kind of mid-rise fit and I'm five foot seven, so they come just above the ankle for me. So a really nice length, I would say. They've got a nice raw hem and and the best thing about them for me is that they've got a bit of stretch in them. So while they are skin tight, they're super comfortable. And the skinnies get a bit of a bad rap these days, don't they? But actually, they are still so comfortable and so flattering. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely think skinnies are not at all passe. I love these ones where you tuck them into a pair of boots or with a pair of sandals like this for the spring. I think they're super cool. Yeah, agreed. And they do look very comfy, those ones. I love that oh. frayed hem at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. That has really a bit nice. of an edge, doesn't it? It does. Um, okay, next up, we've got another pair from the Molly range. Um, mm. This is... The bum sculpt. Yeah, looking forward to seeing how these look. It does. <laughs> okay, bum sculpt time. <laughs> Let's have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look. So these promise to sculpt and lift your bum. Yeah, I mean, so turn around and have a look. Let's, <laughs> Let's have a look. I definitely feel like they do. Great. <laughs> like, you know, I think <laughs> quite a nice fit on the bum. Definitely lifts in all the right places. And they're kind of similar in the stretch of the last pair, but these ones don't have the frayed edge. So if you want something a little more classic, then yeah. maybe these are a really nice one to go for. They're a really nice wash, aren't yeah. they? I, they're slightly they're slightly washed black, aren't they? There's a grayness yeah. to them. Um, I love them. I think yeah. they're really nice. I think a nice wash black, especially as we're going into spring, is less harsh than a true, yeah. true black. So these are a great versatile pair, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, really agree. really yeah. like them. Good find. Yeah. Okay, so the two that we've looked at so far have been mid-rise skinny. We're going to look yes. at a high-rise skinny now. Yes, I do quite like a high-rise pressing, mm. so I'm looking forward to giving these a go. Look. Okay, next up. I love these. I have to say, yeah. for, for myself, for jeans, I love a really high-waisted pair. And these yeah. look like they feel, like they suck you in really nicely. Yeah, I really love how high-waisted they are. They're properly on the belly button, so it's super comfortable. And I do feel like they really suck you in in all the right places. I feel quite good in these jeans, yeah. actually. Yeah, they're really flattering. I also love, I mean, we talked before about the benefits of a paler wash black. Mm. But actually, you know, every good wardrobe needs a hard black that you can wear with you know, a black jumper, whatever. It'll it'll work really hard for you that Yeah, pair, absolutely. I just think these are super comfy, really, like they're versatile, aren't yeah, they? they are. absolutely everything. Great. Cool. Okay, we're gonna have a look at some straights now. Nice, go for a black pair first. I'm a big fan of a straight jean. I make no secret about that. And these are such a good one. Well, we're gonna have a look at these in multiple different colorways. Yes. And it really is like, just the perfect straight leg jean. Yeah, quite stiff, which is nice. And I imagine they'll just relax a tiny bit with wear. And even better, you can get them in short, regular and long. So depending on your height, you'll find the perfect pair for you. Okay. But they are a really good crop, aren't they? I also yeah. love that raw hem detail as well. It just makes yeah. them feel a bit cooler. Yeah, definitely. And real like true straight. It's nice and fitted around here, but nice and kind of straight through the leg, which yeah. I think super flattering, goes with everything. Yeah. Oh. I think every wardrobe needs a good pair of straights. Yes, yeah. I totally agree. Should we have a look at a blue pair now, yeah. the same cut? Let's go. So we have a, a sort of lighter wash pair and a mid blue as well. So I think I'll see Surprise what... us. Yes, yeah. I will do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a blue pair now. I love this colour. Yeah, it's a really nice mid blue, isn't mm. it? It kind of feels a bit vintagey mm. and fit again. It's just so, so nice. I feel great in these. And, yeah. you know, not too tight, but 
it's like you're in all the right places. That that wash as well is a real year round wash, isn't it? I love this mm. pale version that you're holding. This is the same pair again, yeah. but a bit more summery. This pair you're wearing now, you know, perfect for winter, perfect for summer, just an, a year round winner. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And a light wash, I particularly love as we're going into spring, summer. So if you're looking for something a little bit lighter and fresher, then this is a really nice option yeah. too. We should note that the pair you're wearing as well don't have quite such a distressed hem. Mm. Um, it's a bit less raw than, than the other pairs. So if you want yeah. something a bit more polished, then this is the colorway to go for. Perhaps. Yes, totally. Great. Oh. Right. We're going to look at a mum yeah. pair now. I really like the look of these, actually. They've got a nice bit of distressing going oh, on. Oh, they're so, cool. Yeah. Didn't we say that River Island did ev absolutely every pair of jeans? They really yeah, do. Yeah, quite literally something for everyone. So give these a go. Okay, some mom jeans now. Yeah, an ultimate pair. I think these might be my favourite of the lot, actually. I really like them. I think off the hanger as well, mm. generally with mums, you might look at them and think, God, they look enormous. But that, that's just the kind of shape of mum jeans, isn't it? And actually on, yeah. they look really flattering. Yeah, compared to a straight, I'd say a mom jean is, is a little bit more um, roomy around mm. the thigh area. So if you want something that's not quite as skin tight and a bit more relaxed, then a mom jean is a great option. Nice and high-waisted as well. So it feels super comfortable. I'm just really into the distressing going Me on as well. Me too. Distressing's made a real comeback, hasn't it, in yeah. the last few months? And I think it looks really cool. Like, yeah, not try too hard. Just it kind of it's like an accessory in your outfit. Yeah, definitely. I think the key with distressing is for it to not look like you've deliberately cut into it. And these definitely look quite authentically yeah. worn in, don't they? So yes. big fan. Love the wash as well. It's yeah. a nice, like lighter wash. Again, Agreed. The summer really, really good. Love the turn ups at the bottom. Yeah. Is there, are the you didn't turn them up? That's how I they come. I didn't turn them up. Yeah, I'm cool. trying to just check actually if you actually they're just turned up like that so you have to keep them like that but I, I kind of like it yeah, I, I don't too. like it when you have to like keep turning them up yourself so yeah, yeah, yeah. that's nice that they've done that little detail agreed again it feels really relaxed feels really like you yeah improvised mm. but but looks really great yeah love I really love these cool, cool. um okay we're gonna finish on a pair Ooh. of flares yeah now. I don't often wear flares so I'm quite excited to see how these look Let's see I feel like flares always kind of float around but aren't necessarily something that people think of straight away yeah. as like a denim that they must have. But they are so flattering, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, definitely. I think they're so leg elongating. Mm. I think the key, if you're worried about your legs looking short in a pair of jeans, going for a full length and one that's high waist is just going to create the illusion of a much longer silhouette. So these are great. And I love the way the flare just really balances out your hips and stuff. So yeah, just overall a really flattering shade yeah. that I think is a lot more wearable than people think. I also love that the flare starts at the knee as well mm. on this pair. They can be a bit drowning if yeah. you have a flare that's kind of yeah going from the top half. So I love that it just kind of kicks out of the bottom um, to create that effect. Yeah, Gorgeous. and again, nice and stretchy, so yeah. comfortable. Good for a night out. Hopefully we'll have oh, some yeah. of those. We'll see sometime yeah. soon. <laughs> really cool. How would you style these? I think I'd definitely go for a pair of heels if you really want that maximum leg elongating effect. And then I think just to balance out the volume in the bottom, something a bit more oversized on the top. So a shirt like this would be great or a cool like, boxy jacket or something like that. I agree. Very nice. <laughs> Fab. I mean, River Island have proven once again that they really do have one of the best selections of denim out Absolutely. there. If you had to pick one pair, what's your favourite? Oh, I mean, it's so hard to choose, but I think maybe the carry. This is the mm. mom jean. I just think I love the distressing. I love the wash and the fit is just so flattering. Yeah, so, agreed. Yeah, Very cool. Tricky to choose though. Fab. All right. Well, obviously we will link all of the jeans that we've talked about in the show notes below. Thank you, Polly. Great job. Uh, and of course, head to riverisland.co.uk for more amazing fashion and all the jeans you could possibly want. And um, that's it from us. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Polly. So many great styles at such good price points. Next, Lisa Potter-Dixon will be demoing her 10 Hero Charlotte Tilbury products. But before that, if you like a salt and pepper squid dish as much as me, then you will love Summer Pine's healthier take on it. She's using cauliflower and it looks just as good, if not better. See what you think. Okay, so today we're going to make salt and pepper cauliflower with sriracha mayo and it really is delicious and so simple to make. So what I'm doing right now is just chopping up my cauliflower into bite-sized pieces and into a bowl I'm going to put two eggs, one teaspoon of five spice, a dash of soy sauce and then we're just going to mix that together. 
Next, we're gonna take some breadcrumbs and we're gonna add the rind of one lemon to the mixture, salt and pepper to taste. Now we're gonna take these lovely little florets and put them in the egg mixture and then the breadcrumbs so you get that nice little crust on the outside. And we're gonna repeat this on a lined baking tray. Now this is gonna go into the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes until golden brown on 180. Then they are ready to go. Next, you're gonna take two spring onions, one chili. You're gonna stir fry that until it's nice and crispy and then place on a paper towel. Now for the sriracha mayo. Add two to three tablespoons of mayo, sriracha sauce. I added more actually than this. And half a lime and then we're gonna whisk that together with some pepper and that is how easy it is and it's so delicious. And look at how golden my cauliflower florets are looking. Now it's time to plate. Add your cooked spring onions and chilies, and then we're gonna add some of that lovely sriracha sauce, like so. And then we're gonna add fresh chilies and spring onions on top, because that just looks pretty. I'm serving this up as a sharing plate, because I just like to share, but if this was just for one, I would serve with some rice and a side of vegetables. Don't forget to add a side of the sriracha mayo because it is super delicious. Enjoy. Hi guys, I'm makeup artist Lisa Potter Dixon and today I'm here to talk you through my top 10 Charlotte Tilbury products. Now, I have to tell you, this was very hard. I thought 10, that's a lot. That's gonna be pretty easy. Oh no, it's not. Not when it's with a brand that you actually really, really love. I've used them for years. So I've got to start with my number one. Now, I feel that this has become such an iconic product for Charlotte. And it is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I literally chuck this all over my face, like I chuck it everywhere. Under makeup, over makeup, it's brilliant. So once I've done my whole skincare routine, put on my SPF, I'll put this on. It comes in loads of different shades. I am shade three, and I just kind of swipe it and blend it. And what it does is it kind of like diffuses the skin. So it gives you this beautiful glow to the complexion, but at the same time, it kind of evens out, but it's not weighty like a foundation can be. So you can wear it alone if you want, but for me, I like to wear it under my foundation. Once my foundation's on, just like that, I like to take even more and just pat it onto the cheekbones as it acts like a really beautiful soft focus highlighter as well. Also amazing down the legs, on the shoulders, the decolletage. Number two is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. Not only is this really good for concealing, it's also good for really brightening underneath the eyes or anywhere on the face. Sometimes I like to use this for contouring too. It's got this really good little sponge tip on it and you just twist and the product comes out of the top. I'm using shade number one, which is fair. I'm just gonna buff it under the eye. This is why I love it, right? My technique for applying concealer in a way is to kind of apply and then buff in with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I just find that that gives you a much more airbrush finish. Where with this, you've kind of got that already on the end, so you don't need it. Also really good on the eyelids to even out the skin there too. Because of the sponge as well, it just kind of gets in everywhere, anywhere and anywhere that we've got imperfections. And we've all got those little dilemmas, haven't we, that we want to cover. So this is so brilliant for that. Number three and number four go together. So I'm gonna speak about them at the same time because it is the airbrush bronzer and the brush to match. It's products like these that really showcase that this brand is made by a makeup artist because bronzer is a really tricky thing to get right. There's so many brands out there that have got bronzers that are either too orange or too red based or they're too heavy and they cake on the skin. Whereas this literally gives you an airbrush finish. This is shade medium. The brush I love because it's retractable. There you go, Ooh, like magic, there it is. It's also really fluffy and it doesn't molt. I mean, you know, I wash my brushes after every single use. This one is brilliant because it doesn't shed or molt, like I said. Now the bronzer. Now the pan size is so good. It's so big, you've got that mirror there. Now all I like to do is kind of swirl it around, tap it off and go in a figure of three either side of the face. And another great thing about this bronzer is that you can really build it up. So if you wanna go for just a light bit of glow, you can, but if you wanna go for that 
kind of, I've just been on holiday, I haven't, obviously not at the moment, no one's gone on holiday, but you know, I've just been on holiday, and look at that amazing, <laughs> beautiful, fresh, healthy glow I've got, well, this does it for you. Number five is the Cheek to Chic blushes, these are so good, so this one is shade Pillow Talk, which really is the iconic franchise of Charlotte's, I mean, Pillow Talk lipstick, you've got eyeshadows, you've got blushes, and this is beautiful, because what you're seeing here is a two-tone, you've got a lighter color in the center and you've got the deeper color on the outside so you can mix them together or actually you can use this one separately as more of a highlighter if you want but when mixing them together you're going to give yourself that overall glow and that pop of color at the same time which is just great I'm actually going to take that bronzer brush again because it's there and I love it so again I'm just going to swirl it in mix them together tap it off and then just pop a little bit on now little tip here for you if you suffer from fine lines around here it means you've had a great life by the way when you're putting your blusher on don't smile because the minute you smile it will sit in the lines and then when you're not smiling you'll see little white gaps so just apply it onto the apples and kind of sweep it up Blusher is such a powerful product. It really gives your face that entire lift. Um, and if at the moment, you know, you're on lots of Zoom calls, etc., and you can't be bothered to do anything, just putting on a pop of blusher and then a little bit of mascara makes a huge difference. To finish the complexion, I'm using this baby, which is the Beauty Light Wand. So this one is in shade Spotlight. Again, they come in loads of different shades. And like the concealer, you've got that sponge top there. So really multi-use because you don't have to use a brush first and foremost but also you can use this on the face you can use it on the decolletage and you just squeeze it you don't need much you can just dot it along the cheekbones and watch this how good is that and you see i'm putting it over a powder bronzer and a blush but it doesn't sit in it it's a really beautiful fluid liquid that just blends beautifully whether you're using a liquid base or a powder base I also just <laughs> take a little bit. I'm laughing because there's a really good reason that I'm doing this. Honestly, <laughs> I like to put a little bit above the arch of the brow bone because that's what JLo does. Yep, that is what JLo does. Doing this, it's one of the highest points of the face and it just, again, when you hit the light, gives your skin that youthful glow, which is what we all want. <laughs> number seven, I think it's number seven. It's the palette of pops. I own every single eyeshadow palette that Charlotte has. They're in my makeup kit, my professional makeup kit. They're in my makeup bag that I use on myself. I gift them to friends and family because they're really easy to use. You get four different colors and it comes with a step-by-step -step guide on how to use them, but they're literally numbered. So you know, okay, this is the one you put on first. This is the one you put on last. It's that easy. If you know me or follow me on social media, you'll know I love a bit of sparkle. I'm obsessed with a little bit of glitter and these are great because they are a pressed glitter pigment. You can use these a couple of ways. You can use them alone or you can use them over the top of any eyeshadow look, which I love to give you that kind of spotlight eye, that pop of color. I'm gonna start with this color, which is shade Prime. So this is number one, the prime color. And I'm just gonna put this all over the lid. Again, just use my fingers because I want that wash. <gasps> can you see that sparkle already? This is the thing guys, eyeshadow and makeup looks do not have to take ages. I mean, that wash of sparkle has already transformed my look and it's just the first of the four. I'm now gonna take that second one, which is the Enhance, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that into the center. It's more of a gold shade, like a champagne gold, and it just brightens even more. And I'm gonna smoke it out a little bit. I mean, why not? So I'm just gonna take that into the socket of the eye and I'm going to finish with this little bit of a it's kind of like a coppery shade and I'm just going to put that on the lower lid. I'm going to complement that look with my next choice which is the bedroom black classic rock and coal colour. This is a jet black coal pencil and it's just brilliant because it really does give that full on look. I'm actually going to frame the upper and lower lash line. It's amazing what a difference this makes. Doing the top makes your lashes look so much thicker and doing the bottom just gives you more of a cat eye, more that sexy kind of smoke. It also blends really well so I'm just going to do a little bit under 
the lower lash line almost dot along and buff it out slightly to enhance the smokiness even more. Another little trick, use your brush like a little pencil brush on the tip of it and just flick out gently from the outer corner here up to where the brow ends and that lifts the eyes. I've now lost the lid of the eyeliner. Does anyone else do that? I've literally just taken it off and I've lost it already. <laughs> And my last two choices in my top 10 favourite Charlotte Tilbury products had to be lips. I feel like this is the hardest to pick from because Charlotte has such an array of lipsticks which are all gorgeous. So I couldn't pick, so I didn't even go for a lipstick. I've gone for a liner and for a lip gloss. Now these are the Lip Cheat pencils and they're very good because there's a combination of nudes. Now when you're getting um, the perfect colour for your lip, it can be really hard, but because you've got so many to pick from with Charlotte, there's always gonna be a shade for you. Now, I've gone for this one, which is a slightly darker shade than my lip. It's called the Iconic Nude, and I'm just gonna go around, it's hard to talk and do this, around my lip line. Gives you that more 90s effect when it's slightly darker. Another little trick I like to do across in the center of the lip, and that emphasizes the Cupid's bow and kind of shapes it better. At the moment where we're all wearing masks a lot, it's actually really nice to use a liner over a lipstick. Just make sure you're using a good lip balm overnight because actually they stay in place and don't transfer like a lot of lipsticks do. And complete the look with the Refresh Rose Gloss. These are gorgeous. It might just be me that likes things like this, but I love that it's got a little heart as the doe foot shape, so the tip shape here. It's very cute, but also it's a really great shape for applying gloss because it just means that you can get right to the edge without causing a mess. The other great thing about this is it's really high shine, as you can see, but it's not sticky, and that is so important. And that is the finished look. I hope you like it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Welcome back. Thank you, Lisa. I am so inspired to buy everything there and really who does it better than Charlotte Tilbury. And how good was Summer's cauliflower? That is just my dream, dream dish. Coming up, Katie Miller is here with the second in her 10 minute bar workout series focusing on upper body moves. But first, let's see what the uber stylish Jessica Skye wears in a typical week. Hello everyone, my name's Jess and I'm a fashion and lifestyle content creator and today I'm going to talk you through what a week in outfits looks like. I finally found the perfect pair of black leather trousers. It's honestly taken me years to be able to find a pair that fit round the waist, round the bum and are the perfect leg length. These are from a brand called A Gold, bought from Netta Porter and I always find with leathers it always looks good with a classic stripe. Now this jumper is from Zara and I really love the zip detailing down the middle and also the split sleeves. I feel like it just gives that extra wow factor to a striped jumper. I don't know about you, but every time I put a striped jumper on, I always feel so put together. And if you wanted to add some layers to your outfit, I've teamed this look with my favorite trench coat from H&M. It's already oversized, but I always size up in coats and blazers because that way you can layer them with multiple items underneath, especially in the winter. And I just really love the relaxed feel. And for my shoes, I'm wearing my favorite boots from June London. These are really chunky and they're just so, so comfortable. These actually go with most things in my wardrobe. If there was one outfit to describe my signature look, it would definitely be this. So a silky skirt and an oversized jumper. This skirt is from Arquette and I really love the shape of it. It's super, super flattering. It's really soft and silky. I also own this in a champagne color, which looks beautiful with a black jumper. And this jumper I'm wearing, it's like a rib knit jumper. Again, it's super soft. And this is from Free People. And of course I'm wearing my June boots. These are quite high on the ankle, but I feel like they're really flattering 
with silky skirts so you really can't see any of your leg which looks great so again i'm wearing my trusted leather trousers from agle they literally go with everything in my wardrobe and i've teamed them with this sleeveless rib knit jumper from h m and it's actually got some slits down the side as well and this is my favorite blazer which is from arquette and i sized up two times with this to really give it that oversized feel but what i love about teaming a sleeveless jumper with a blazer is you don't get the bulky arms so you've got a lot of movement there again i'm wearing some chunky boots with my leather trousers these are grenson and they actually have a suede detailing on the side so if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I absolutely adore these trousers. I wear them all the time. They are from Mango. And what I love about these is they're super high-waisted and long. I'm really finding Mango. I've got some beautiful pieces in at the moment. And I've teamed it with my American Vintage jumper. It's super soft. Again, it's quite loose fitting, but it looks quite good tucked into the trousers. And for my shoes, again, I'm going to wear my Adidas Oswegos. These are so, so comfortable and I just love them. So what is a week in outfits without incorporating some kind of loungewear? So the tracksuit bottoms I'm wearing are from Citizens of Humanity and they're a really beautiful material. It's almost like a toweling material and I've teamed them with my lilac sweatshirt from Arquette and also an oversized blazer from Arquette. I just feel like if you're going to wear loungewear, try and make it so that you can feel a little bit more put together. And then my favourite trainers, these are the Adidas Os Oswegos. And I also have these in black. I honestly wear them with nearly all of my outfits. Hi guys, my name is Katie Miller and I'm the founder of Una Series. I'm here with Sheerlux today to run you through a 10 minute bar burn. We're gonna have a focus on upper body today, so go ahead and grab either half kilos, one kilos, water bottles or soup cans, and we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with a warm up right in the middle of your mat with your feet in parallel, a little bit wider than your hips. Let's take some deep breaths. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out of the mouth. Now this is your time to get the mind prepared and set up for this workout ahead. Take a big exhale, let's go for one more. Nice, now hold those arms down. We're gonna squat back, and up. So this squat here, I want you to warm up those hips, sit back into the heels, and squeeze your glutes to come all the way up. Nice. Keep this going. We're gonna squat and releve. Lift your heels at the top. Down, press. Think about pressing your weight all the way back into your heels. Lift for three. Now you either stay like this, or we add a jump. It's down, up. Breathe in, breathe out. Landing softly through those feet. Four more, big exhale. Three, big press. Two, nice, now hold it down. Little pulses, press it down. Now work on getting the shoulders away from the ears. Pressing all the way back into those heels. Keep breathing, those glutes are warming up. Now all of us lift our abdominals in and up. Nice, we're gonna go to the left. We're gonna go to the right. We stretch our right leg, we stretch our left. Let's go quicker, we go back and up. Squeeze those arms behind your bottom. You keep going, now wherever we go, we have a straight spine. Breathe. And those inner thighs are getting a nice warm up here and a nice stretch, squeeze. Woo, those hearts are coming up. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out of the mouth. We're almost there for four. Well done for three. Big exhale for two. Breathe, last one, well done. Come all the way up. Shake those shoulders out. Let's reset our feet. Go ahead and walk them right under your hips. Palms are forward, reach and lower. Nice, so you remember, we don't stop. We keep flowing. But if you need to stop and take sips of water at any point, you know you have that option. Level two, we're gonna releve and lift our heels, squeeze. 
and lower. Now you keep going, I'm gonna turn sideways. Lift and lower. We wanna keep our spine nice and long. Lengthen up, pressing through the balls of the feet. Now let's hold it up there, freeze, and reach those arms forward, forward. Now the core is working hard for us to find our balance. High heels, can we start to bend our knees? Keeping them high, now tuck the tail under, hold it here, bicep curl, squeeze it in and out. Now we wanna really lift those heels high. Get a little bit lower to find those quads. I set up her body focus, but those lower legs are a treat. Two more, hug those abs in. Let's go quicker, here we go, it's in, it's in. Exhale, press, keep breathing, keep pressing. Nice, now we have to keep our torso really still. Press, last four, three, now hold it here and press it up, up squeeze, up squeeze, keep going, press, I'm gonna turn back to face you. Nice, now lower your heels, keep going, press it up. My knees are bent, my abdominals are switched on, perfect. Now let's step our left leg out and in, now the right. Now you can see I don't take it too wide, I want you to transfer your weight onto that foot, press it into the mat. Now keep your elbows up, Let's go a little bit quicker. So we go push, push. Now watch my legs. I'm grounded into the floor. You either stay like this or you jumping jack. Out and in. Press, I'm pushing down, down. That's my accent into the floor. We press it eight, press it six. We're there, we have four, three, two. Now hold it out there, press it up. Woo, well done, keep going. Can we turn our toes out? Step our feet wide and go low. Find that plie, press it up. Exhale, we have four. Three, now stay here, stretch those arms, they go out, out. Now you keep going, remember those arms, they're reaching slightly in front of the body. Keep breathing out, feel that big stretch all the way to the end, four, three, now hold it. Flip your palms back, hands. Hello, upper back muscles, they're working hard. Keep breathing, find those abs, exhale. Woo, two more, great. Hold it back, little pulses back. Push those palms back, little squeeze. We have four, three, two, hold your second position. Now turn to the right, lunge. Arms go out, turn to the right, lunge. Let's go quicker, plie, turn. Now watch my right arm, she stays there. She's strong, open out, hug it in. Out, hug it in. Two more. Now hold your lunge, pulse it down. Now you'll notice your heart rate's up, yes? We're in that cardio burn now. I want you to breathe through it. Keep tucking that tail under, holding our arms really strong. We have four, three, shift your weight forward. Reach behind, come back to your lunge. And again, this is our slow one to set up. Let's go quicker, reach and down, reach and down. We want a long spine. <sighs> Try and reach those arms all the way straight behind you. Press. Now you have the option to stay here or advance. Lift that leg, let's go, it's up, it's down. Press, down. <sighs> find your level, but find your form. That's important. Two more. Now let's hold it up and freeze. Pulse those arms up. Now we lift our chest. Remember, if you lose your balance, I want you to place that foot down onto the floor. Focus on your arms. Lift, lift, otherwise that leg is up. Now hold it here, tap your hips. Take a bend and a stretch. Reach those arms all the way long behind you. Now a challenge is to bend your right knee a little deeper. Find that supporting glute. Two more. Woo. Let's go a little quicker, let's go out, out. Now is that left leg nice and straight behind you? Yes, is your back straight? Are your elbows up? Squeezing it long behind you. You have four, three. Face the front, second position. Ha, woo, she's burning. Well done, guys. Incredible work. Stay with me, let's go push, push into those heels. We have one more side. Lucky us, hold it here. We take a plie, turn to the left, lunge. Open out. Turn those hips, let's go quicker. We plie, turn. So remember, this is a little tick-tock of the feet. We have to move them with us. Press, out, turn, two more. Now hold your lunge. Let's pulse it down. 
Now when we're in our lunge, work on tucking that bottom under. Yes, really pressing that back knee down, holding those arms in front of your chest with purpose. Press, we have four, three, shift your weight forward. Palms are up this time, arms are in first. Reach forward and down, let's go quicker. It's a seesaw. We go forward, back. Find your breath. That heart rate's coming back up again. Breathe it out. Now you either stay like this or you lift that back leg off the floor. Lift, lower. Now it's a lift, not a kick. Really press it. Keep those palms up. Keep that back long. Two more. Woo. Hold it up. Let's push those palms up. Now we have to bend our supporting knee. Keep that back straight. Remember guys, if you lose your balance, place that foot down on the floor. Press those palms up for four, three. Now hold it there, slide it up your back. It's up, push down, it's up, push down. If you can, that back leg is long. Those abdominals are switched on. We're taking a deep breath. We're lengthening our neck. Now let's go quicker. We go down, down, grand finale. Can we soften our left knee a little more? Can we squeeze those arms along behind us? Press, press. We have four, three, two, face the front. Find your squat position. Let's row down, up. Now we wanna make sure our weight is back into our heels. Our abdominals are lifted, our chest is still proud. Now take it down and side. Let's go down, side. Reach those arms right out from your shoulders. Breathe out, breathe in. Breathe out, how are we doing guys? Two more, you are incredible. Hold it to the side, let's pulse it up. Woo, who would have thought those 10 minutes would make us sweat? Yes, we earned it, we worked for it. Press, press, keep going. Just stand up tall, lengthen those legs. Reach those arms, press. We have four, we have three. Now here's our grand finale, we tap, tap. This is our finisher for that upper body. Shoulder press and a lat pull down. You have worked through every muscle group through that upper body. Well done. Let's jump it out, let's go. Exhale, press, press. I love to finish with a little blast of cardio. Stay with me, if this is too much, you come back to your taps, you keep moving. We all finish together, we are strong, let's go. Push, reach, reach, we have four. Three, two, and one. Bring those feet to parallel. Take a big inhale. Exhale, reach away. Incredible work, you guys. Be sure to drink a lot of water and don't forget to stretch. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Thank you, Jessica. Amazing, I am very inspired. I especially like the idea of wearing a sleeveless knit under a blazer to make it less chunky. That's almost it for today. Uh, but last but not least, I wanted to share a few of the things I am loving right now. First up, uh, it's been Paris Fashion Week and I don't watch that many fashion shows. I don't follow every single show that there is, but there are a few that I watch. And I have to say the Chanel Autumn Winter Show for, well, Autumn Winter 21, 22, is just the most glamorous, exciting, inspiring mood that I have seen in a long time. Uh, what my one of my favorite things is, is the models with razor sharp, fresh haircuts. If there was ever a season for a fringe, this is it. It's also a season for layers of accessories, metallics, dramatic eye makeup, for getting dressed up. I mean, I've never seen Chanel look so glamorous and so modern and the music is incredible. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Go over to the Chanel Instagram channel and check it out. You will not regret it. On the subject of fashion, I also have to give a shout out to Winnie Malcolm and her new fashion column that's gonna be appearing on the site every month. It's about high street fashion this time, so everything will be nice and affordable. And in her first column, she's inspiring us with some gorgeous spring prints. There's a maxi dress, there's an amazing marron inspired mango jacket, uh, a couple of clashing prints and a trench. Anyway, Winnie, you look fabulous. I love the pictures and I can't wait for the next. 
Also this week, I wanted to give a special shout out to Soru Jewelry. Soru is a British brand that I have known, well, for quite a long time. I've known the founder since she launched it years ago, not that long after I started Sherlock's. And I've really seen it go from strength to strength. And her new collection is absolutely stunning. I, I particularly love the charm necklace and the links, there's a green lynx charm, there's a green lynx ring, there's also a, a stunning Apollo ring, a twilight ring, a Diana ring. As you'll know, I like a big ring. If you're in the market for one, get on over to Soru. They're also mixing golds and pearls in a really modern way, and um, I was really bold over to see their new in collection, so check it out. Um, finally, on a slightly different note, uh, I wanted to recommend Mitre mattress protectors. Uh, bit odd, you might think, but I can tell you now that our show manager has recently treated herself to one after I've been banging on about them forever, and she said I've literally changed her life. So I thought I'd try and change yours too. Mitre supply the hotel industry, and you can also buy it direct from their website. Prices start at sort of £25. Um, I have the Tencel, which are sort of slightly thinner ones, on my daughter's bed and also on my guest room bed and I have the heritage which is really thick on mine and it is like sleeping on a cloud it's totally dreamy anyway check it out if you want to upgrade your night's sleep then it is just the ticket anyway that is it for today I hope you've enjoyed watching thank you so much to our guests to Jessica to Lisa to Katie to Summer and of course to Charlotte and Polly. On the next show, Charlotte will be back with another great high street haul. Adiola Boyega will be showing us how to master eyeliner, whatever your eye shape. Claudia Beresford is showing us her spring dress edit, plus Bettina will be here with four new recipes. This time it's pudding related. In the meantime, we would love it if you could leave us a comment below, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't yet. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye-bye. Thank you.